All right, Maurice, how you doing, buddy? It's Nick, Symbolic. Um, yeah, thanks for the invitation to the show. I'll be happy to participate. I'm honored, you know. Um, it would be great. Um, just, you know, maybe you send me a message, time and place, um, or what have you, you know. And uh, I think it could be a really good show. Um, one of the questions I had, this has been running around in my mind. Uh, just It's its more of a suggestion to put out there to uh, my fellow atheists. Um, the so-called weak atheists, the one who who neither the ones who neither believe nor disbelieve, it would seem that that group of atheists, which may represent the majority, I don't know if statistics have ever been done before on that, wouldn't that group of of people be the best positioned um, from a belief point of view to promote religious tolerance? Um, and understanding between the religions and between the atheists and the religious, it would seem that they they would be perfectly situated, um, you know, having no particular belief in any one religion nor a disbelief, you know, but basically an openness. So uh, of course that doesn't seem to um, be the case. So uh, it would be interesting to throw that question uh, out as uh, as part of the search for, as you were saying, maybe searching for the root cause. Um, because there must be some explanation for it, you know. So, yeah, let's stay in touch. You know, feel free to send me a, one of these personal message email things. I'll also, um, I'll send you a, a message with, uh, with my contact information uh, so that you can get a hold of me. Snap like that. Okay, buddy. Love you. You take care. And as soon as I find the little red square, which uh, universally means, I guess, stop or something, it should be, it should be eight-sided. Talk to you later, my friend. Bye-bye.